Ever tried to search for items in a Swedish museum site? Well, if you're not from Sweden or a Scandinavian country, it is probably quite hard to do that. But I'm here to help you. In Swedish, you find three special letters. It's an A with ring on it, an A with two dots on it, and an O with two dots on it. The A with ring on it is called O. The A with the dots on them is called Ä. And the O with the dots on it is called Ö. I'm going to show you soon how you can find these letters on an English keyboard. So, let's go. O. You can find it by going to A on the English keyboard. Here I have marked O and A. Going to A. And uh, do the same with Ö. Go to O. Here I marked Ö. Now let's start looking at Digitalt Museum. Digitalt Museum is a database for Norwegian and Swedish museums. And here we come to the Swedish site. And you can change to English and that will help you understand the frame of the museum. But you need to search in Swedish. Sorry. Mönster means pattern. And if you write it, you find that you get patterns and different kinds. If you forget the dots, you get monster. So back to Mönster. You need to refine your search and that you can do by choosing the type you li like to search for. Here I chose thing, the topic, some translations here and what place the thing you're looking for is from and what period. I'm choosing 18th century here. So here we have costumes in the 18th century and you find you can see seven museums. So let's go and look at all the seven. And uh, let's take this last one. Here we have a klenning. That's a dress. And you can see more pictures of the dress. You can also read some more about the dress and it is in Swedish even though it said the site is in English. And I marked silk, siden, as a word here. You can learn if you would like to <laughs> search for silk items in Sweden, Swedish museums. In the end, you can go to another museum, and here we have uh, bodies, also at the Värmlands Museum. Uh, but uh, that is a way to go from one item to another in this museum. Click, click on the pictures. So, leave means bodies, is that right? Well, here we got women named leave mostly in this search. So we have to use the type and we don't want to have photographies or women. We want to have things and then we can skip and go to the period. We want things from the 18th century and then we get a sort of better selection of things that we are after. And uh, you see that we get quite a lot of different things, not just a bodies, but tridents or fivedents perhaps it's called, I don't know. Well, that is because leave has more than one meaning in Swedish. Well, if leave was several things, leave, stycke, 
it means bodies or stays. So, well, we got a quite a good selection this time. And uh, we can view 11 museums with Liv Stycke. Other words you can use is kofta, stub, kjol, jacka, rock, eller kappa. In this short video I have used a few words that you can use to search on the Getalt Museum. And if you like this video and want to have more content like this, like the video and, and in the comments what would you like me to show would you like to have more search words would you like to know other museum sites in swedish that uh, could be interesting for someone who is doing historical sewing and uh, until next time hey då three two one hey nej direct i choose direct and then, oh, this is going too fast for me.